गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट पुश डोमिनोज प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर 838. थर्टी एट लेट्स नाउ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम देर आर एंड डोमिनोज इन अ लाइन एंड वी प्लेस इच डोमिनो वर्टिकली अपराइट इन द बिगिनिंग वी सैमल्टेनियसली पुश सम ऑफ द डोमिनोज ईदर टू द लेफ्ट और टू द राइट एट इच सेकेंड इच डोमिनो दैट इज़ फॉलोइंग टू द लेफ्ट पुशेज द एडजेंट डोमिनो ऑन द लेफ्ट सिमिलरली द डोमिनोज फॉलोइंग टू द राइट push their adjacent dominoes standing on the right when a vertical domino has dominoes falling on it from both the side it stays still due to the balance of the forces for the purpose of this question we will consider that a falling domino expends no additional force to a falling or already fallen domino you are given a string dominoes representing the initial state where dominoes at i equals l If the ith domino has been pushed to the left, dominoes at i will be r. If the ith domino is pushed to the right, and dominoes at i will be dot. If the ith domino has not been pushed. Now let's look at an example. In this second example, if you look, uh, we are given the dots for the domino where the force is not applied, and l or r for the dominoes where the force is applied. So on the second domino here, the force is applied on the left side. and there is no domino on the left side where any type of force is applied therefore there will be an l that means the first domino will also fall on the left side along with the second domino so you have two l's here after that you will find the fourth domino is being pushed to the right hand side the second domino was being pushed on the left hand side so there is no force affecting the third domino so it will continue to be standing and that is why we will be representing it with dot if you look at the fourth domino and then another domino somewhere on the right side they are both pushed in the opposite direction so if you make them fall then this will fall on the right side and this will fall on the left side and then using somewhat kind of a bfs approach breadth first search uh, you will see that they will be falling with a equal speed in all the directions so this will be falling on the right this will fall on the left and this one in the middle will not fall anywhere because the forces from both the side are same so this will continue to be standing and uh, on the left hand side two dominoes fell on the right so we will put double r and two dominoes on the right side fell on the left so we will put double l so you see th there is double r double l and in between there is a dot for the standing domino now after this point you have a domino moving to the right this domino is moving to the left now there is a uh, even number of domino in the middle so all of them will fall and half of them will fall on the right side and half of them will fall on the left side due to the bfs effect right so you see uh, there will be two r and two l's so two r and two l's and there is no force affecting the last two dominoes therefore it will be standing and it and it will be represented by two dots so i think this example is clear now if you look at the number of dominoes it is n and n value is maximum 10 to the power of 5 each of the characters are l r or dot l means the domino is pushed on the left r means the domino is pushed on the right dot means the domino has no force acting on it directly okay that means it is not pushed in this case if you write an n square algorithm that will become 10 to the power of 10 which will be higher than 10 to the power of 8 so we should solve it within one second that means we should solve it in computations less than 10 to the power of 8 so we will have to do something better than n square now let's look at some examples for better understanding In this case if you look at the domino push cases the first case here representing two l's simply denotes that if you push the third domino on the left side then these two will be also falling on the left and if you look at this domino the sixth one push it on the left side then these two will also be l this is the final state after applying the force on the third and the sixth domino if you look at the second example in this case instead of applying force on the left i am applying force on the right and as you can imagine that this will be only rs this is the final state if you look at the third example then in this case these two will not be affected because there is no force acting on the left side in between here this will be r this will be l this will be r this will be l and this will not be affected because by the time three dominoes fall on the right three dominoes fall on the left and there will be equal amount of force on this domino from the left and right so it will not be affected and these two will not be affected because there is no domino applying pressure on these two on the right hand side okay so this is the final state if you look at the last example then again in this case the number of uh, dominoes in the middle when the 
force is applied in opposite direction right and left is even that means there will be no domino standing so once you move this domino to the right the left will move to the left hand side again this will be right this will be left and that's it so there is no domino left standing in the middle if you have even count of standing dominoes right and these two will be unaffected in the beginning and these two at the end will also be unaffected so i think these examples will make your understanding clear about the problem now having understood this let's now look at some of the important cases we know that whenever we are looking at any particular position that means any character in the entire domino string then we know it can be either l r or it can be a dot so let's assume all the cases for when you are looking at a domino which will be pushed to the left hand side okay so this will cover all the cases when you are at a domino and that domino has to be pushed on the left hand side so how it will affect the entire domino string now let's say you are looking at l the nearest domino to the left hand side on which a force is applied is let's say x now x since a force has been applied here x can be equals to either left or right so if let's say x is equals to left then you know all the dominoes in the middle here will be assuming left 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 because if this x was representing a domino where you apply force on the left hand side then all the dominoes which are standing in between x and l will all be falling on the left hand side okay that is true whereas if this x was equals to r if this value was r then this means this domino will be pushed on the right hand side and you know that this so domino here will be pushed on the left hand side so a state here will be r here you will have an l and that's it the middle domino will still remain to be standing because of equal force from both the ends so simply we have odd number of items in the middle that is why the middle domino will not change okay so i think this state is clear what will happen so according to this i can actually track it while moving from left to right by maintaining my last seen l position and the last seen r position okay and the position will actually represent where i am currently moving from left to right so if i am currently looking at an l value then if my last r value is greater than last l value which means that the nearest domino on the left hand side where a force has to be applied is actually applied on the right side direction then this means that we will be pushing the domino from both the side and therefore we will be applying a double domino push in that case when the last r is greater than last l then we will be uh, making a double domino push what what is a double domino push we will be pushing r and l in the opposite direction so it will start covering r from the left hand side and l from the right hand side and if you have odd number of item one domino will not be affected so there will be an api that we will be writing double domino push starting from last r and uh, for, for from one side and position on the right hand side okay this condition has been covered now if last l is greater than last r that means the nearest domino on the left hand side where a force is applied is applied on the left side this means that everything from last l plus 1 to position will all be filled with l values because if you push this on the left everything will fall on the left side and that is why if last l is greater than last r then we will be applying left domino push on all the items from last last l plus 1 that means this item to the last item right to position so i think this is clear as well now there can also be a case where you are looking at an l and you are trying to find uh, these two cases but both the last r and last l are actually not even uh, assigned to anything that means you are moving from left to right but the first l that you see is actually the first domino on which you are applying the force in that case you have to push everything to the left hand side and mark it as l so how will you identify such case if the last l is equals to minus 1 then we will be applying the left domino push from the last l plus 1 that means from index 0 till the index 3 we will be marking everything with l so i think uh, all the cases have been covered if you are looking at a domino which has to be pushed on the left hand side similarly if we are looking at a domino which has to be pushed on the right hand side then what will be the cases so if uh, the current domino that you are looking at has to be pushed on the right hand side then simply you check the nearest seen domino on the left side in which direction it is pushed how do you check it out 
you compare the index of last r and last l if the last r is greater than last l index moving from left to right which is true in this case then you have to apply right domino push from the index last r to the index position minus 1 which means that i iterate from last r to position minus 1 and put r values here okay so that is what we will be doing another case which can arise is if the nearest domino to the left hand side where you are applying the force you are applying it on the left side this means there has there, there will be no change in the middle you just skip it there will be no change and that is why we will not be applying any operation for such case when you are seeing at an uh, at a domino which has to be pushed on the right side and the nearest domino on the left side has to be pushed on the left then there will be no movement no falling of the dominoes in the middle okay another case which is a boundary case it can arise is when the position actually reaches to the end of string end of string means end of the dominoes if the dominoes length is n then if position is equals to n where the index is from 0 to n minus 1 right if position is reaching to n and the nearest domino on the left side where a force is applied is applied on the right hand side this means that we need to apply right domino push from all the items from the last r till n minus 1 like these all will be r as you know right so these are all the cases when your current domino has to be pushed to the right hand side now having looked at all the cases let's look at a dry run in this case i will be assigning the last l and last r to index minus 1 and i know that i will be starting with index 0 right so my position will be starting with index 0 now when i look at a domino where a force will not be applied i will simply be skipping those items but as soon as i see an l or r or the end of string then i will try to take an action so in this case i am seeing an l so for l the previous item will be either l or r you have to check which one is to the right hand side so if r is to the right hand side of l you know that there will be double domino push that means from the left to right you push r and from right to left you push l so in this case last r is not greater than last l instead they are equal and last l is equals to minus 1 right so in such case you have to apply left domino push from 2 till the last l plus 1 or you can say from last l plus 1 to 2 so that means you will be overwriting these values to l you can also take a new string and make it or you can change the given string so you'll be overwriting l here okay now your last l will be updated to a new index of 2 fine and your position pointer will re will reach to 3 so 3 and 4 will be skipped anyway you will be reaching to position pointer 5 so here you have an r now previously you see that the last l is greater than last r that means the previously seen domino where a force has been applied is applied on the left side and the current item is applying on the right side so we need to skip all these dominoes in the middle from 3 to 4 because they will never get affected so we will simply be skipping and the last r index will be updated to the new index 5 and we will move on to 6 so 6 7 8 will all be skipped and when we are looking at this l which is at index 9 then the previously uh, seen domino uh, force was applied on the right hand side therefore this will be calling the double domino push that means from 5 you will be moving to the right hand side from 9 you will be moving to the left hand side with equal steps so you will write an r here here an l and after that both will be going to 7 the same index so this is where your break condition will happen so this domino will not get affected right and your last l index will be changing to 9 and then your position pointer will be skipping 10 and 11 and it will go to 12 now again at 12 you will see that the previously seen domino where force was applied it was applied on the left side the current domino is applying force on the right side so all the items in the middle will be skipped that means 10 to 11 will be skipped and after that the last r index will be updated to 12 and then uh, your position pointer will be skipping 13 14 and it will be reaching to index 15 which is out of bound it is n but the previously uh, seen domino force was applied on it on the right hand side that means you have to call the right domino push from index 12 or 13 till the end of the string that means till n minus 1 so you have to make rr right 
so this will be the final string you check it out at 2 you will be pushing everything to the left at this 5 you are trying to push to the right at 9 you are trying to push to the left so 7 is getting unaffected 10 and 11 will not get affected because at 12 you are pushing on the right side and at 9 you are pushing on the left side and 13 14 will everything be r we will be taking a new string and making it simply and that is why the space complexity will be order of n and we are looking at all the characters two times therefore the time complexity will also be order of n i hope this is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the structured code which i have written so this first one is denoting the domino class where i will be writing three apis the double domino push where you have two indices last r and you have the position index so last r will be pointing to r the position will be definitely pointing to l and we have to move them equally from both the directions so the r will be updated moving from left to right l will be updated moving from right to left and this will break when these both indices come at the same point so this is that implementation now the left domino push here uh, is uh, starting from a start point going to the end point and point and putting all the values as l which means that if you are at l and the initial i mean the previous index was also l so in between you have to put everything as l from the start point to the end point otherwise if everything to the left was empty and you are at l and there was no domino on the left side where a force could have been applied then also you will be putting everything with l this is your left domino push your right domino push is when you are looking at an r then from here to some point let's say n minus one or any other point you have to iterate and update all the characters with a given r value okay so this has been written in terms of class and this is highly recommended uh, to be written in this way this type of questions generally come in the machine coding rounds uh, but anyway this is a very small question now in this case uh, the dominoes are given in the push dominoes function which is our main function in this case and uh, i will be making an object of the domino class and assigning the last l last r value to minus one the domino size will be stored in n and then we will be iterating for all the characters one by one so if you look at l then uh, you have to just check if the last r index is actually greater than the last l index we will be calling the double domino push otherwise if the last l is greater than last r then we will be doing simply left domino push or the last l is minus one which means that uh, we are looking at the first domino where the force were, was applied and if it is applied on the left side then all the dominoes will fall on the left side okay after doing this we have to update the last l to the given position if the current position is having r then uh, we know that this current domino will be pushed on the right hand side isn't it so for that case if previously we have seen an r then we will be simulating all the dominoes to be pushed on the right hand side by overwriting it by r call the right domino push and do nothing else and update your last r to the given position after covering all the indices if you end up at the end of the string which is n and you know that the last r is greater than last l then we have to again simulate the right domino push as i had explained in the theory part right so after having updated the entire string we will be returning the dominoes and if you look at these dominoes here the string was not passed by reference so this is creating a copy of the string so you can take it as an extra space as well so this is the entire approach and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you